Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and I'm pretty excited for this pack opening video because uh, patch 5.7 is upon us and we do have the new hyper crate which is called the Discord hyper crate and uh, the items were data mined quite a few days ago I did a video on them the cartel pack itself is shaping up to be pretty decent uh, just the armor sets are really nice not the silver stuff the silver stuff is crap but the gold armor sets are pretty nice uh, the mounts are decent, the companion is good, the, there's a Mandalore Flare, which is one of the items I'm really excited and hope I hope I get out of it. So um, yeah, it's, it's a decent cartel pack. Unfortunately, it's up for the price of 5,800 cartel coins, which is a little bit on the hefty side. Normally, Bioware will do something where in the first week, they'll put the Hypercrate out for like 4,500 cartel coins. At least that's, you know, a, a little bit better. But um, really, I don't think any of these items would be priced so high. In a few weeks, this is going to be 7,000 cartel coins, which is just like not worth it at all. But in any case, enough of that. Let's go ahead and look at what actually comes out of this cartel pack and if it's really worth it. One thing I'm really hoping for is, um, yeah, hopefully we get a lot of gold items. There are four platinum items in this. So um, I'm hoping I can pull out one at least. I'm still really hoping for that hollow rancor. I just, uh, despite having all these credits, I haven't shelled out the... The whatever 50 million to buy it on the GTN. I'm sure I'll get it out of a, a cartel pack at some point in time. Anyways, let's go ahead and look at what we've got here. Nothing too great so far, just a lot of silver items. I'll show off the decorations at the end, of course. Oh, our first gold item already three packs in. We have the Dread Operator Requisition. Sweet. I really like that companion. I think it's just kind of a cool looking robot. One of the few companions that dual wields a weapon and dual wields these really cool Vibra Swords. A uh, second gold item, uh, the Esni Fanatics Lower Body Armor. It's a gold item nonetheless, but I'm really hoping for these supplementary in the upper, because those contain the, the armor pieces I really want. The Esni Fanatic, it's, it's a good looking one, honestly. I hope I can get the full uh, set, or at least some of the armor pieces, so I can show it off at the end of the video. Another gold item, wow. Uh, the Esni Fanatics Lower Body Armor. Okay, another one of those, so that's gonna be going up on the GTN. And then we have the Emote Double Hollow Hoop. Uh, that's just kind of one of those random items you get, but it's actually a really nice item, uh, one of those rarer emotes. There we go, Esni Fanatics Supplementary Body Armor. Contains that really awesome looking helmet. And as if on cue, we have Esni Fanatics Upper Body Armor. So there we go, we just got the complete set in three consecutive uh, packs, that, that's pretty rare. Uh, awesome. Oh, another gold item. We have the Oraconian Crystal Beacon. So I'll show that off at the end. I'm surprised that's when that one decoration is gold rarity. I thought that for sure that would be silver because uh, with a lot of these beacon type decorations, oftentimes you need like multiple of them to look good in your stronghold. Another gold item. We have Esni Fanatic Supplementary Body Armor. Another one of those. Um, how many gold items is that in a row? I think that was like four. That's uh, pretty unprecedented with these packs. Um, who knows, maybe Bioware actually improved their RNG. Oh no, there we go, the streak is broken. <laughs> we have the um, Sith Interrogation Rack, nice decoration nonetheless. Yeah, so I think that's like six gold items so far. Oh no, make that seven gold items. We have the Battlefield Technician Supplementary Body Armor. That's perfect, I really wanted to show off that helmet because I want to see if it actually has that laser effect and, and basically how that looks. But uh, yeah, that's like seven gold items, that's crazy. The only thing that could really tie this together would be um, a platinum item. I mean, if I get a platinum item out of this pack now, that's like seven gold items and a platinum. That, that would be insane. But uh, there's still like almost 10 cartel packs to go. You never know. So far, just a lot more silver decorations, though. The Hutta placard. Uh, I saw the previews of them. Not too crazy about them. But there are some pretty nice decorations. Just that's not one of them. Emergency response droid, a die module, and uh, that silver armor set. Ah, here we go. The, the, the lightsaber is okay, the Firestorm lightsaber. It's, it's a nice looking hilt, but I previewed it in collections, and it's just not as big as I would like. What's the point of having a nicely designed hilt if it's covered by your hand? Um, so just, I don't know, I'm, I'm a sucker for, big, for bigger hilts. Gosh, I really wish you would just get two items from the new pack. I mean, all of this other stuff that comes is almost always crap. I mean, once in a while you get a nice item. I'll definitely say that. Last time I got like a really cool looking armor set. Uh, but this time around, as you guys can see, it's always just crap. It's like this companion customization or this random weapon or this random mount. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I guess uh, you also do get like decorations like the potted fern. So 
for people who are collecting decorations, it's a good way to get some of the older decorations. And if you don't want the decorations, you can often get a few really good um, amount of credits off the GTN for them. But just all in all, I don't know. Oh, oh my gosh, a platinum item, the Hollow Rancor, the one I really wanted. Wow. Um, I, I lost count. I think that was like seven or eight gold items and a platinum item. Has Bioware really increased their RNG for this? Uh, I don't. I'm not sure. All I know is I really got lucky with this cartel pack. I'm not so sure if that experience will translate to other people watching this video. Let me know in the comment section if, if you've had a similar type of luck, because that could very very well mean Bioware actually um, took the kind of the feedback and criticism from the community to heart and actually made their cartel packs drop better items. Um, but yeah, I mean, I got a platinum hollow ranker. Damn, I, I don't know. I, I haven't unlocked that mount yet. I really want to. I just haven't shelled out the 50 or whatever million credits in the GTN. I just so many other nice mounts to use, but this is awesome now. I can finally unlock that one and even show it off in this video. Okay, I'll jump over to when um, I've, when I have um, claimed all of the good items and we'll show them off. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, let me know in the comment section if you guys have had similar luck. I remember earlier Bioware talked about the fact, like there, there was a, I don't know if it was two or three cartel packs ago, Bioware actually put it in their patch notes that they had increased the chance of getting a platinum item from cartel packs. And I don't know, I took that with a grain of salt, but two out of the three cartel packs I've done previously, I've actually pulled out a platinum item. I've seen a few other YouTubers who have done pack openings, they've pulled out platinum items as well. Uh, which is kind of, maybe Bioware actually increased the chance of them, who knows. Uh, so let me know if you guys are having similar experiences and luck with your cartel packs. I definitely had some crazy luck here. Anyways, I'll jump on over to when I've got the items and I'll show them off. Alright, so we are back here with a, a kind of a host of really nice decorations. Um, yeah, as I was saying earlier, it's kind of a good chance, uh, these cartel packs, or at least grand chance cubes if you don't have the money for cartel packs, to kind of collect some of these older decorations. That's how I've been collecting them, and I've actually uh, got pretty nice collection going. But uh, of the newer decorations, I'll show off the uh, Oraconian one first. What title is this? Bounty Collector. Hmm. It's a cool looking title. We'll see how much that sells from the GTN later. Seems like I'd already collected that one. Uh, Alright, what was I saying? Okay, so we'll go ahead and check this out. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight gold items. We completed the entire Esni Fanatics armor set. We got the Companion, and we got the Hollow Ranker mount. And we also got the Gorilla Tactician's uh, helmet, which I'll show off a little uh, little bit later. That's crazy. Okay, let's go ahead and check out this decoration here. Um, type it in. Yeah, I was saying, I was surprised this one's gold because the thing about uh, gold decorations is they should kind of be a little bit more, um, I don't know, like just like have, have one use. Uh, something like an Oraconian Crystal Beacon like this one, you need symmetry in your stronghold, right? So you're gonna need at least two, if not four or six. And uh, that's going to cost you a lot of credits on the GTN to, to do that. So, um, but this is how it looks. I think it's definitely worth it. It looks awesome. I love the effect at the top. Uh, definitely goes very well with the whole Sith theme. I, I was mentioning in the pack preview video that Oricon, I believe, is one of the best decorated planets just because of the vibe and atmosphere you feel when you're traveling around it. And the ability to kind of recreate that in your own strongholds, I really enjoy the fact that that Bioware is letting us do this. As you guys can see, just with this stronghold and with my torches I have at the at the uh, left side there, I kind of like that whole theme and that whole vibe, and uh, definitely goes very well with the whole Sith stronghold. So um, yeah, it's awesome that these decorations are here. It's a really good, uh, really nice decoration. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the Gorilla Tactician's helmet. I'm really excited to see this one. Uh, the design of the helmet, damn. It, it's it's a it's a design I really wish I liked, but I just don't like it. But I like if the laser effect is just so cool if it actually has it. Okay, what I'm gonna do here now be, is I'm gonna try to find the key bindings to remove my user interface uh, because I'm I'm doing this on my laptop, and so I don't know the key binding for the Alt Z key binding just doesn't work for some reason. So we'll go ahead and change this to something like uh, Control Q. Hopefully this works. All right, perfect. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and check this out and see if uh, it has an effect. And it most certainly does. We have the laser effect, very, very similar to the Relentless Hunter. It basically is the same laser effect. Uh, when you activate your weapon, it shoots out a laser. I'll go ahead and switch out my weapon for something a little less noisy. Uh, this should work. Okay, there we go, yeah. So we'll go ahead and now check out this laser effect in its full glory. Uh, yeah, it's, as I said, it's like the Relentless Hunter, very similar. It's, it shoots out a laser that kind of moves around, which is really cool. And this laser is uh, kind of light blue colored. The Relentless Hunter laser is red colored. 
this design of the helmet is definitely nicer than the Relentless Hunter, but I've said this in previous videos, I really wish they just had nicer designed helmets. Like something like a Mandalorian helmet with the same laser effect would work so well on bounty hunters. I, I would use that. I know a lot of other people would use that as well. But unfortunately, that's the design we got. Um, yeah, it's just, I'm, like, I love the effect. I'm just not so sure if the, de if the design of the helmet is good enough to actually use on a character. Maybe if you had the right upper body armor or something and, and the right uh, other pieces of the armor set, it might work. But, uh, okay, anyways. Enough uh, pondering on that. Let's go ahead and look at the Esni Fanatics armor set. Uh, I'll just unlock the entire armor set and show it off to you guys here. Um, one thing I really like about this armor set is it's one of the few Sith armor sets that I feel just works really well with a female character. Normally you just see these kind of generic Sith armor sets which mostly work for male characters but also I guess both the characters could use them. But especially with the Esni Fanatics helmet, I just feel like that's specifically designed for kind of female characters uh, to show off their Sith um, power and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I'm gonna do it here. I kind of like the design for myself. I'm not sure if I'd ever use it, but um, it's definitely cool. Uh, it's going on very similar to like, I don't know, it gives me the same feel as, uh, what's the other one, Darth and Dedu. That's another one, even Freed and Nod. Like, it's kind of like a crown, a helmet that you wear uh, to show your, um, your status and stuff. I don't know, that's the way I see it. it. It's really cool. I really enjoy the design. The upper body armor itself looks fantastic as well. Uh, the gloves are okay, the belt is not so great, and the boots, I feel, could be a little bit more, I don't know, spiky, and I really like, like, chrome color, chrome finishes, so that would be really cool if they had some of that, but uh, just in general, it's a really decent, really good-looking armor set, really, ha I'm, I'm happy with it, uh, I'm not so sure if it's gonna sell crazy on the GTN, um, especially if they have increased the drop rates of gold items, maybe this will drop to an actual affordable amount and pe other people who like the armor set but who don't buy their cartel pack will be able to go ahead and, um, and get it for themselves as well. All right, let's check this hollow rancor out. Finally, I can go ahead and use this thing. Um, damn, it's such a cool looking mount. Look at that, look at that. That is a job well done. A few people have, have let me know in the comment section that they don't like the design. I, I'm just not one of those people. I love this design. Uh, I really just like the frame of the robot. I would honestly have wished maybe it was a flourish. So like, um, the, like your, uh, the mount is just the, the robot frame and then when you do control Z or whatever uh, keybind you have for flourish, it activates the blue hologram. That I think would be just have been a little bit cooler because it gives us that choice of having both but in any case, it's just such a good, uh, such a good mount. All right, those weren't worth very much on the GTN. Let's go ahead and, um, all right, so I guess it's time to conclude the video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the pack opening. Um, hope you guys have very similar luck to me. I had a great time opening this pack because the items are great, the RNG was great, but uh, I don't know, for 5,800 cartel coins, uh, I would actually wait, if I were you, to just see what these drop to on the GTN. If the drop rate has truly increased, you'll never know what kind of deals you'll find on the GTN. Uh, some of the items from this pack, obviously the platinum stuff will still be selling for a crazy amount. The Mandalore Flare probably won't drop too low on the GTN, but I do see the armor sets and the mounts dropping pretty low. They usually do with some of the other cartel packs. So if the pattern remains the same, just uh, be vigilant, check the GTN. I'm sure you'll find some good deals. Any, in any case, hope you guys just enjoyed the pack opening and are having a great time with the new patch, and I'll see you guys in the next one.